This is the A2 bomber, and this is what it can do. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, learn to let it go. Advice for life, let it go. Learn when it's past the point you were hot-headed in a live stream. Why on earth are you so damn salty doing yet another video about the damn A2? Folks, this is Fernando doing another Star Citizen video and reacting to this video from Morphologist. Yet again, angry and salty about the A2 ruining his fun when doing jump jump. In case you're not familiar with the topic that I'm t addressing here, uh, back in the day, just uh, uh, several days ago already, um, Morphologist, which is one of the most well known uh, creator content so of Star Citizen uh, asked for the A2 to be nerfed or balanced which is another way of saying nerfed because it was just too powerful and he had a hard time bringing it down with his org. A lot of people explained to him because I don't want to go through the entire video it's pretty much too long but people explained to him that yes you can actually counter the A2 if you do this and that and he does a video explaining that while he once said it was impossible, now he's trying to make an argument about, well, it's just too difficult to do, and this is what he's explaining here. It's a little bit disappointing to see him go down to this level. Uh, I thought he was above this kind of thing, but anyway, this is what he says. That I am not talking about whether or not the A2 can be countered. In fact, it can be countered. That's not really what I'm debating. Initially, when I talked about this, I said the A2 is impossible to counter when yeah. it's suicide bombs, but even then, it is still possible to counter it, but that isn't really Okay, but we first agree that you said it was impossible, and then you realize that yes, it is very much possible doing what orgs are supposed to be all about, right? Point I was trying to make. So let's set that aside for a moment okay. in order for you to clearly understand my argument. What I was trying to talk about with the A2 is that the effort required on the part of the A2 pilot to bomb is not proportional to the amount of effort required to counter the A2 on the other side at jump town <laughs> that is the point of having the freaking a2 to begin with if we, if we would have to be proportional the effort of a single player against multiple players and it was a fair and balanced situation you would always lose you would never and and that's the point that's the point that i mean i, I hope he's watching this but you know chance in hell of that happening i hope you are watching this and understand that that's the point of the tam a2 if it was proportional the effort of one guy versus the effort of multiple guys you would always lose you would never have a chance in hell of beating an or or a group of people that are taking over and that's why you have the a2 to begin with it's not that we just that we don't understand what you're saying we simply don't agree with you here that's the equalizer the a2 is the equalizer is the big bomb that's what big bombs are for equalizing the field it's not about being fair everyone going after one another with swords and five guys beating a single guy with with, with, with a melee weapon, of course, that's never gonna be happening. That's why you bring the gun to the knife fight. That's why you drop a, a Moab in Jump Town. Here's exactly what I mean. So in order for you to bomb at Jump Town, all you require is an A2 and your ability to fly. Okay, let's put a pin on that. All you need is an A2 and, your, and the skill to fly it, first of all. You need to buy the freaking A2. It's very expensive, both in-game and out. Not everyone has A2s. It's not going to be the first choice, the second choice, or the third choice for a new player that has starts with his humble Aurora MR. Probably he's going to be buying a, a Cuddy Black. Maybe he's buying something for uh, PvE, for grinding bounties, maybe a prospector. It's really not all that common that some guy goes into Star Citizen and the first thing he ends up buying is an A2. I mean, I have one, but I play a lot of this game. And most people don't go for an A2, even if in their top five choices of ships. And now but put a pin on that, how he minimal minimized the effort of someone that actually achieved to unlock buying an A2 in-game knowledge of how to arm and drop the bomb and if you have a little bit of sense you'll drop it at nearly point blank okay so it's not only buying the ship it's having the skill having the you know knowledge of how to use it properly and the luck of facing an eight uh, an org that hasn't organized well enough so as to stop you not allowing anybody on the ground to actually shoot the bomb before it hits and if you really want to troll all you have to do is drop oh. 
really want to troll. So he's he keeps on basically insulting people that use the ship, like myself. I mean, I've used it in in, in Jump Town. I've used the A2 to drop a bomb on you know a, a larger force and then go down and grab a few uh, packs and do my version of Jump Town. He thinks that's trolling. He's simply wrong. It's not that we don't agree. He's simply wrong in thinking that anyone that uses uh, a bigger gun is trolling. No, this is a PvP event. You do what you can. If you're a solo player, if we're not all morphologists with you know hundreds of subscribe of of people in our different orgs, right? Then we have to do what we can, and that means grinding so as to get yourself the big ship with a big bomb that allows you to drop a bomb on these folks and then do your version of jump town. Trolling is something completely different. Trolling means you enjoy just making people angry and upset. You plant yourself in Arc L1. When miners show up, you just blow up a prospector. There's no profit for you. There's no game loop that you're involved in. There's no event like Jump Town. No, you're just, or, you know, pad ramming or blowing up random ships in Port Olisar. That's trolling. You're not doing anything other than pissing people off. Here, this is a PvP event where you want to get drugs and you want to beat just like you are doing. You're shooting down other players constantly. Why is that any different from when you get gunned down with, with a bomb, big bomb? As you run into the ground and there's very little people can do to stop you. On the other side, there's a couple things that you can do. In one scenario I talked about with A1, Avenger 1, who is a well-known PvP in the Yeah, that's a good idea. What you could do is have a scout looking for A2s approaching and then just run away with your group of two other friends and make your money that way. But in this scenario, you still require three skilled individuals. One person being able to take the boxes out of the conveyor at Jumptown, one person to fly the getaway ship, and one skilled person able to fly a fighter to scout and make sure an A2... It is... T I mean, I, I obviously overestimated him. It, it's too much to ask for an org to have three players that know what they're doing, move around boxes, Three players, you cannot get together three players in your org so as to move around boxes and do basic minimal skilled stuff in that org? What is that all about? Two isn't approaching. In this scenario, you can't have a new player because they just won't know how to do it. Okay, maybe don't bring a new player to an event without any kind of experience. Maybe your new player is going to be standing next to the most experienced player in your org. Three guys, really? Three guys that know what they're doing is too much to ask? I mean, that is... makes no sense, really. To survive. However, if you want to actually be able to stop the A2 before it's able to drop a bomb point blank, which is the worst case scenario, you're going to need a lot more DPS to stop it. So, what you might have is a number of ballistas. In order for you to have ballistas, though, you need to have a C2 or M2 or even A2 to be able to transfer the, your ballistas okay, get onto it. the ground. Get you'll it, also like the need A2 scouts guy did. to be able to tell the ballistas where the A2 is coming from. You'll also want to have those scouts be in greater numbers because you need to be able to... Okay, isn't that what an org is supposed to do then? ...and out around jump town. About 25 seconds to sit directly above jump town. And now he's making the argument that you need an eclipse, which yes, an eclipse would work beautifully well. Ready to shoot a torpedo at an approaching A2 because as I said earlier, shooting up torpedo behind the A2 isn't going to catch it in time before it actually bombs. So you need to be in front of it, which means that you need to be directly on top of Jump Town. Okay. In order for you to do that, in order for you to be there, you're also going to need support because both the Retaliator and the Eclipse are fairly vulnerable by themselves. The Retaliator has no guns by itself, it can only shoot torpedoes, and the Eclipse is fairly weak and pretty much the same deal, it only shoots torpedoes. It does have two no. size two ballistic guns by default. No, it, it hasn't got two size two ballistic guns. It has two size two laser repeaters, which are actually quite good because it has a massive, huge uh, power supply. Uh, the, the, the thing that allows the ship to shoot the, well, what is it called? Man, that, the, the thing, the, you know, I actually have it here because I don't want to sound like a you know, fool talking with, without any basis, any foundation. But let me show you what I mean. When you look up the ship that he's talking about, he's talking about the Eclipse, right? Let's go look up the Eclipse. Let's go look up the freaking Eclipse. Here it is, the Eclipse, right? And let's compare it to an F7A or whatever it is you want to compare it to. When you compare these two, the capacitor of the A2 
of the eclipse is massive. The eclipse has a massive capacitor. Where is that thing? Capacitor of, okay, capacitor, 10,000. So it's almost twice as much as the capacitor of an F7 Hornet. The Eclipse has actually great firepower with those two size two weapons. He's completely wrong. It's almost as, he, as if he doesn't even play the game. You have two Badger repeaters, two size two Badger repeaters with a massive capacitor that have a lot of firepower. I've actually done VHRTs using only those Badger repeaters, which yes, they're not the biggest guns because of it, because of the size of that capacitor. It's just a hose, continuous firepower. So it actually does very well. He's wrong. They're not ballistic, and it's quite capable on its own right. But those aren't going to do anything before wrong. you get killed. In this particular scenario you're seeing on screen, we had a fully manned retaliator, which is the only reason why I was able to come in here by myself without any sort of fighter support, which enabled me to kill a number of people, but I wouldn't have been able to do that without the support of my people on the ship. Okay, yes, and all of this that's in order. order to counter an A2. Now I have also seen the argument floated counter to what I was talking about, that the only ship you need to counter the A2 is an Eclipse. Okay, but in yeah. this scenario, you need a very expensive ship that not everybody has, and so you're creating a sense of elitism in order what? for you to stop a specific ship. And I don't think that's a great way to balance the game. If the only way for you to play to counter somebody who spent $700 plus on a ship is to spend $300 or whatever it costs for the Eclipse, then that's not really great. It doesn't really help the argument that Star Citizen is not pay to win. I don't know what I don't know what he's all about. I, I really either I overestimated him and his capacity of rationalizing and thinking things or his love for the game. He obviously just isn't sure about what an eclipse even is. The idea, I mean, remember when he said that an A2 was just about buying an expensive ship and, and just, you know, well, now he's making the argument that the Eclipse is just too expensive. So as we have an Eclipse in an org, an Eclipse is actually quite affordable. Here are the different prices. The Eclipse is 3 million, 3.4 mil. That is not all that much for an org. An org cannot have an Eclipse. I mean, a lot of people buy an Eclipse way before they even buy an A2. And about how easy it is to get the A2, I'm not even talking about people that spend $700 in a, in a you know, video game ship. But if you buy it in game, that's 5.5 mil for a big bomber. That's why a lot of people don't have it. So he overestimates how difficult it is to get an, ecl an Eclipse. He underestimates the effort of the guy that grinded his way to an A2 specifically so as to have the firepower to deal with an org just like his. Folks, I don't know. I mean, it, he's super salty and he's not making any sense whatsoever. I really hope he watches this video. Chances of that are minimal. But if he finally understands why people are giving him so many thumbs down, it's not that we don't understand what you're saying. We all understand what you're saying. It's just that we just don't agree with it. That's all there is. See you on the next one, folks. Take care.